Okay, so mukhang tapos na na ma-download natin yung Ubuntu Linux natin o na ISO file at saka yung ating virtual box. So, kompleto na yan. And we now go to the installation proper itself. Okay? So, nilipat ko from the downloads folder to a different folder yung aking uh, uh, na-download. Huh? So, nilagay ko siya sa isang folder, Ubuntu Linux Installer. And then, uh, sa loob nito, of course, nandito yung ating installer. Okay? Ito yung Luma. No? This is the, uh, the one of the um, versions ni Ubuntu. Pero ito yung pinakabago ngayon. No? And of course, ito yung dinownload natin na uh, virtual box. Ang una nating i-install, of course, is the virtual box. Kasi dito, syempre, sasakay yung ating virtualize na Ubuntu. Okay? So, we double-click on this, the virtual box. Alright? And, uh, okay. So, it's now preparing to install. And, uh, welcome to uh, Oracle VM Virtual Box 5.2.8 Setup Wizard. And, you simply click Next. Okay? And, sinasabi dito, select the way you want features to be installed. So, Saan natin siya install Click on the icons in the tree below to change the way features will be installed. So, ang ginagawa ko lang dito is yung mga default lang. No? Kasi, ito yung magiging location niya. So, I don't want to mess up with this. All I just, uh, all, all I want is to um, install this virtual box. Alright? So, ilalagay na lang natin siya dito sa default na uh, folder niya. Program files, Oracle, and that virtual box. Then we click on the next. Now, select the way you want features to be installed. Gusto mo ba na mag-create ng, ng uh, create start, start, up, start menu entries? Gusto mo rin ba mag-create ng shortcut sa desktop, shortcut on the quick launch bar, and register file associations? Again, I want all of these, so I will just click next. Okay. May warning siya rito na yung network interfaces mo maaaring hindi gumana or temporarily madi-disconnect siya from the network. So, you still want to proceed with the installation? Yes, of course. Okay. And then, ready to install. Install na natin. Click install. And this, this will take some time. Alright. So, please wait while the setup wizard installs Oracle VM Virtual 5.2.8. This may take several minutes. Alam naman natin yan. Alam naman natin yan kung paano, kung gano'ng katagal yan usually. Alright? So, hintayin lang natin ng konti and we will get uh, back to this a little later. Alright? Uh, they This will now start the installation uh, process. Okay? So, again, this may take a little while para ma-install. Pero, syempre, tsaga-tsaga lang yan. Okay? Hintayin natin ulit. Okay, so natapos na yung installation ng virtual box 5.2.8. It's now complete. So are we going to start with the Oracle uh, virtual box after installation? So gusto ko mag-start dyan. No? So kiklik ko lang yung finish and then the virtual box will now start. But also notice na yung virtual box icon is now added to the uh, desktop. No? Nasa, nasa desktop na siya. Meron na tayong icon, shortcut icon dito. So, we can click this anytime that we need this. And uh, ngayon, I will click finish and automatically start with the virtual box. Alright? So, sa ngayon, mag-open yung virtual box natin. There you go. So, nag-open yung virtual box. Dito natin ngayon, i-install yung Ubuntu Linux. Okay? So, paano ang pag-install ng Ubuntu Linux inside your virtual box? Okay? So, click nyo lang yung new. Okay? So, this is uh, a new virtual machine. And then, we are now in, we will now be installing the Ubuntu Linux. Pero, syempre, lalagyan natin siya ng pangalan. So, lagyan, ang, ang pangalan niya, of, of course, is Ubuntu. Okay? So, gawin, sabihin na lang natin na ano to, Ubuntu Linux. Alright? Okay, so ang type niya ay Linux, and this is a 64-bit version. If you have the 32-bit or if you have downloaded the 32-bit, 
pwede rin yung 32-bit, okay, or the 64-bit. In my case, 64-bit yung ginagamit natin, okay? So, you click on Next, and then it will be asking for the memory size for this virtualized machine, kung gano'ng kalaki yung gagamitin mo. And uh, from 4 MB to up to 8,192 MB, but the default is 1,024. So if you need more, then go ahead. But this is the recommended size, so I will stick to it. Then I will click Next. Hard drive, gano kalaki? The recommended size of the hard drive this is 10 gigabit, uh, gigabytes. So... Uh, tingin ko naman, meron kayo 1 tera, no? <laughs> kaya 500. So, sobra-sobra yon And we're going to create virtual hard drive or hard disk now. So, default lang din yan, and I will click create. Okay? And then after that, hard disk uh, file type, again, I will choose the default virtual box disk image or the VDI. And I will click next. And then, dynamically allocated yung physical hard drive natin. Hindi ko na rin pakikailaman yan. I would like, I, I, hindi ko na gagamitin yung fixed size. But this will be dynamically, automatically uh, allocated. And then, again, I will click next. And then, gano'ng kalaki, yung, ano yung file location and size for the Ubuntu Linux? So, 10 gig is the recommended hard drive size, as I have mentioned no? kanina. So, we're going to stick to that. If you want more, you can do that. Pero, gusto ko na rito, no, by default, para hindi na ako masyado magkaroon ng complication dito. No? Pero, syempre, it will affect the performance of your Ubuntu um, installation. Pero, yung mga recommended size naman, this is, uh, as we all know, recommendation nila yan para tumakbo ng maayos yung ating operating system. So, we will Click on Create. Okay? And there you go. Ito na yung ating Ubuntu. Alright? So, to power this up, pwede nyo i-double click yan o kaya click natin yung Start. Okay? So, let us click Start. Okay? So, dito na natin ngayon, i-install yung ating Ubuntu Linux na dinownload kanina. Okay? So, hintayin lang natin ng konti. And there you go. Select the start of this. Okay. So, dito natin kukunin yung uh, Ubuntu na dinownload natin. Na? Kasi ito yung, kumbaga, ito yung CD. Eh. Uh, this is the DVD, I mean, or the USB, but this is virtualized, of course. So, kukunin natin yung IO, uh, ISO file. Choose the virtual optical disk file. And saan ba natin in-store yun? Sabi nga sa inyo kanina, Nilagay ko yon sa isang folder. Na? Sa isang folder, I will click on Linux, Ubuntu Linux Installer. Nilagay ko siya sa isang folder para hindi tayo malilito. Okay? Kasi pag nilagay mo lang siya sa downloads folder, eh, pwedeng baka mamaya mabura mo siya. Importante kasi yung path kung saan mo uh, nilagay yung installer mo. Doon niya hahanapin yon, of course, pagka nag-ooperate ka na. So, if accidentally, yung download folders mo ay dinilit mo o na-delete mo, mawawala na yung ISO file mo. So, mas maganda, ilalagay mo yung ISO file mo to another folder just like this para hindi siya basta-basta mawawala and your Ubuntu Linux will continue on operating. Okay? So, you click on Open. Okay? And then, we now click Start. And... It is now starting to, ma-maximize lang natin to. Ayan. Okay. So, nag start na siya ngayon na mag-install. Okay. So, again, this will take a while sa pag-install. No? But I will walk you through the installation process bago siya talaga mag-install. Mula doon, saka natin siya puputulin. Okay. Pero sa ngayon, ayan, ito na yung nagiging proseso ng installation niya. Medyo matagal ng konti talaga ito. No? Pero sabi ko nga, it, 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 this, this will uh, give you satisfaction pagka ito ay na fully installed na. Ayan. So, Ubuntu 16.04 is now uh, being installed. Hintayin lang natin.
Ayan. Okay. So, nakikita nyo na yung ano, no? This is uh, the desktop environment of Ubuntu Linux. Ang desktop environment of Ubuntu Linux is called Unity. Okay? So, marami kasing ano yan, no? May No, may KDE, may XCFE, etc. But this is called Unity. Okay? And, uh, ayan, hintayin lang natin sandali. Yan, okay. So, meron tayong option, try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Siyempre, ang, ang, na, ang gagawin natin is install Ubuntu. So, or click on install Ubuntu. And, again, we will wait for some time. You can also choose the language that you like. Okay. And, are we going to download updates while installing? We're going to install third-party software for graphics manually. Install mo siya. So, kukontinue lang natin ito. Na? Ayoko nang mag-download kasi medyo matagal din yan. So, we'll just click on continue. And then, we're going to erase this. Install Ubuntu. Huwag kayo matakot dito. <laughs> kasi yung iba, hindi na tinutuloy. Kasi sabi niya, erase this and install Ubuntu. Pero ang totoo, ang, ang, ang ine-erase niya dyan is the virtualized disk, not the hard drive that you're using on your Windows. Okay? So, this is a virtualized disk na i-erase niya. And this is part of the, the installation process. So, you click on install now. Okay? So, don't be afraid. Hindi mabubura yung inyong uh, hard drive. At hindi yung mga files ninyo that you use in Windows will not be, um, hindi siya mawawala. Okay? Kasi ito ay virtualized disk ang tinutukoy niya rito. Alright? So, click on install now. And, of course, another, ayan, sabi niya, if you continue, the changes listed will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. Okay? So, may mga partitions siya na gagawin dito. You just click on continue. Okay, don't be afraid of that. Walang mangyayaring masama dyan kasi nasa virtualized environment tayo. Na? Kung magkaroon man ng problema, you can simply erase the virtual box and uh, reinstall it. And pwede mo nang simulan ulit. Na? Pero this is safe. Don't worry about it. Okay? Nasa virtualized uh, environment tayo. Alright? And where are you? Nasaan ba ako? I'm in Manila. Okay? So, kiklik ko na lang yung continue. All right. So, hintayin natin yung susunod na. <laughs> Meron pa kasi susunod dyan. Yan. Keyboard lay layout. I'll be using the English US. So, I'll just click here, continue. Okay. And it will move on. Tatanungin niya naman tayo tungkol dun sa username at password na gagamitin natin. So, my name. Let us say my name na ilalagay ko ay Melvin. Yung computer name is Melvin Virtual Box. Uh, username is Melvin. I'll be putting up a password here. Of course, di ko sasabihin ko ano yung password ko. Okay? So, fair lang. Ayoko na masyadong uh, mahaba at saka masyadong secured. Ako lang naman ang gagamit nito. So, walang problema. And I will be requiring anybody who will use my computer to know my password. So, require my password to log in. Then, I will click continue. And this will now go on to its uh, installation process. Okay. Ito yung medyo matagal ng konti na susunod. Yan. So, medyo matagal yan na installation process. So, habang nag install siya, uh, puputulin ko muna itong video na ito, na. And, yan lang naman yung makikita nyo. Palipat-lipat lang, paikot-ikot lang. Yan. Yan lang yung makikita nyo. Habang nag install siya, pwede yung basa-basahin yan. Di ba? Have fun with your photos. Make the most of the web. Paikot-ikot lang yan. Everything you need for the office. Access for everyone. Help and support. Yan. Balik na naman tayo sa dati. Okay? You get it, I know. So, habang siya ay nag install umiikot-ikot siya. Hanggang matapos siya. So, puputulin ko muna dito and then we will go back pagka natapos na yung ating installation. Alright? 
Okay, so yung installation natin ay kompleto na. Installation is now complete, but we need, we have to restart our brand new operating system. All right, so restart natin. Click restart now, and uh, it should be restarting by now. <laughs> and maya maya, magagamit na natin yung ating Ubuntu Linux. All right, yan. So nagre-restart na siya, no? Ang nagre-restart, of course, is yung Ubuntu on the uh, virtual box. And, uh, press enter lang natin to complete the uh, restart process. And, magre-restart na siya. And, maya-maya, magamit na natin si Ubuntu Linux. Alright? Hintay lang natin ng konti. Ayan. Nagsisimula na siyang mag-restart. Okay? So, parang ano lang din yan, no? Whenever you do the uh, reboot of your Windows, it will take some time, of course. And uh, hindi naman, hindi naman uh, exempted si Ubuntu doon, okay? There you go. Ubuntu now has started. And we are prompted with a password. Of course, ito yung nilagay natin kanina na aking username, of course. And I will now key in my password. Sana naalala ko pa yung password ko. <laughs> and then, I press enter. And we are now on the Unity desktop of Ubuntu. Nakalagay dyan, Ubuntu 16.04 LTS or long-term support. And maya-maya, magpa-pop up na yung buong desktop as if you are using Windows. Okay? And medyo unique ng konti si Unity compared sa ibang uh, distribution ng ng Ubuntu. Ubuntu, by the way, is a derivative of the Debian uh, distro of Linux. So, may pagkakahawig ito, no? si Debian at saka si Ubuntu. And also, if you are familiar with the, the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi has its own distribution. No? And kahawig na kahawig niya si Ubuntu. So, at merong nag-notify Okay, <laughs> click ko lang muna kapatid ko yata yan. Mamaya ako na siya kakausap, man. Alright? So, maya-maya lang, magpa-pop up na yung ating mga icons. There you go. Ito na yung mga icons natin. And there you go. These are the uh, keyboard shortcuts na pwede nating gamitin whenever we want to do uh, any... Uh, any applications or use any applications in our brand new Ubuntu Linux. Okay? So, pwede kang pumunta dito sa icon na to to search for any applications, any applications on your computer. Sorry, there's nothing matches your search. Of course, I'm not searching uh, anything yet. So, search natin yung terminal. Ito yung isa sa pinakamagandang uh, pag-usapan sa Ubuntu, the terminal. Okay, so terminal and then you press enter. Medyo mabagal lang ng konti sa simula, no? Pero maya-maya, uh, bibilis na siya kasi nag start up pa lang naman siya, no? So I press enter for the terminal and now, may kita nyo na yung, eto na yung terminal icon niya, no? Ayan, yan na yung terminal window natin. Okay, so dito na tayo pwedeng we can now play around with the terminal. Ito yung pinaka-exciting part ng Linux. Eh, no? Bakit? Kasi yung terminal o yung shell, kung tawagin natin, ito yung, may, may, uh, ito yung nagpo-provide ng flexibility sa Linux operating system. Okay? Ang kagandahan lang kay Ubuntu is it has a good-looking uh, desktop no? na GUI-based din. And also, you have the terminal. Okay? So... Na-install na natin properly yung ating Linux, yung ating Ubuntu Linux, the virtual box, and eventually the Ubuntu Linux. And we can now play around with this. Alright? So, sana nakatulong sa inyo to mga ka-network, mga ka-Linux. And uh, makita-kita tayo ulit for our next tutorial videos. Okay? Thank you and good day to everybody.